And today, we're going to be diving into where all their fats and explore the difference between two common uses of lard and white shortening. So let's get started. Our first contender is lard, devised from pig. Lard is created by rendering the fat off the pig. You know where that is? Usually from the abdominal regions. It's a solid fat at room temperature and boosts that distinctive, rich and savoury flavour. <laughs> you can guess what you can get from that. Sausage rolls. Lard has been cherished in kitchens for centuries, adding both flavour and tenderness to dishes. It's versatile enough to withstand high temperatures, making it perfect for frying. And up north, they do their chips in it. So let's meet the contender. It's white shortening, also known as vegetable shortening. Unlike lard, white shortening is made from vegetable oils and it's processed. As a result, white shortening has more natural flavor compared to lard. It's a semi-solid or solid fat, primary use for baking. Pastry chefs and bakers just love white shortening for it's able to create the flakiest textures in pastries, cakes and cooking. Plus it has a long shelf life compared to butter. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights of the differences between lard and white shortening. Well, the source of lard, it comes from pigs, while white shortening is devised from vegetable oils. Flavour. Now, lard has got a distinctive flavour, which we all know, and that's what makes a lardy cake. So if you're going to have a lardy with white shortening, it ain't going to do it justice, is it? Whereas white shortening, because it's from vegetables, it's got a more natural flavour. So it's not going to be like a lard. The consistency of lard, well, that's solid at room temperature. But as you can see by my lard, it's a lot softer than the white shortening. So white shortening is generally a semi-solid product. But sometimes in the right conditions, it can also go soft. Cooking temperatures, the lard has a higher smoke point. Oh yes, definitely. Making it ideal for high temperature cooking methods like frying. White shortening, on the other hand, has a low smoke point. So you can guess what that means. If you've got it up too high, it's going to smoke quite a lot. No, it doesn't really. Uh, from, from my point of view, I never get shortening up that high. And also you can use, you can also fry in white shortening because I think they did um, a product called crisp and dry, but it's a solid product. And that is very good at frying. Health concerns. Lard contains a lot more saturated fats compared to white shortening. Both should be consumed in moderation. Some individuals prefer the white shortening due to its low saturated fat content. When choosing between lard and white shortening, it's important to consider the flavor and the specifics of the cooking or baking you're doing. And again, it's all down to your recipe. If the reg if your recipe says white shortening, then use white shortening. But it doesn't matter really, because if you prefer lard over white shortening, then go for it. There's no reason not to use lard instead of white shortening and vice versa. Lard can add a rich flavor to savories. Well, that's basically what it's all about. While white shortening exceeds in flaky pastries and cakes. Once again, there's lots of cakes that include white shortening in those recipes. Now, you know you get your lard from the supermarket, but did you think about white shortening? Yeah, that name is familiar to most people. Trek, this company has been going for so long, it's unbelievable. Now, as they say, Trek can be used for baking and cooking. And there's just a couple of examples of different recipes in the book. And this book is full. I mean, there's hundreds of everyday recipes in that. And that is definitely, we'll be covering lots more of these recipes recipes it with white shortening on the channel and now we're going to be wrapping up our journey on white shortening and lard hope this video has sheds of information for you and if you like this type of content please subscribe and please share and we'll see you again very shortly on the crazy baker channel laters